Fine, thank you. Ah, thank you, okay. How are you doing? Felipe, what's your experience as a developer? Okay, I started uh, in Udacity. I graduated from Android Basics and then took the course over Android Developer. Uh, I also uh, assisted as a mentor in Grow with Google Scholarship for Android Developer. I got some experience in teaching over there. I love to teach. Oh, that's fine. I'm trying to do the same. Okay, that's nice. You will be good. I understand that um, you have some problems with uh, widgets, in your understanding for widgets, and that you're in capstone at this moment. Is that right? Yes, that's right. Okay, okay, uh, let me help you with that. Okay, uh, the first things first, uh, you can go ahead in Google and look for uh, widget Android developers documentation. What it says as the definition for widget is that is that are a miniature application that it's embedded in other applications such as the home screen. You know that your cell phone has a home screen that is another application and that's where the widget is going to be present, okay? So, um, what I saw in Google's, uh, well with Google's uh, scholars, is that they didn't understand very well the concept of widget. So, uh, what you need to understand about widget is that it's like a separate application from your application, okay? So, um, there are different, okay? So, one of the questions that students have is how do I send information into the widget? That's the main basic concept of, of this, okay? So, um, I'm going to cover this in, in this in this session that we have. Mainly, another thing that you need to un understand is that uh, widgets don't support everything that you can do in an XML Android Studio layout, okay? So, the widgets uh, support um, a text view, an image view, image button, another button, regular button, a stack view, grid view, list view. All right. Uh, remember when you did the baking app that you had like the list of recipes and their name and their ingredients? Like all that you used there was a list view, remember? Yes, I remember. Okay. So what happens uh, for the purpose of, of your understanding of widgets? Um, I made an application with a stack view. Why did I choose a stack view? Stack view is beautiful. Look, look, Joanna. Uh, you can pass over here and have a great animation over there. Pass through all the elements from the stack view. Okay. So at the moment, uh, what we have is this. So first things first. Um, in my application in my main activity <clears throat> I'm gonna have a recycler view with uh, some card views and images and names from the cars that I got from Firebase okay so what I'm going to do uh, to complete this widget is I'm going to pass the array list that contains this information okay into the stack view uh, into the stack view from the widget so uh, we're going to pass it through a, a parcelable array list extra okay and here we pass in um, the key and the value pair with the array list of automobiles over here okay um, if you have a, a doubt about what is parcelable I strongly su suggest you go uh, here over to Google and 
one key key way to learn Android development is to like uh, you put widget um, stack view uh, widget Android this Android um, part it's key for success in learning uh, because uh, maybe the, the Google will show you uh, other things about uh, maybe Python or other languages maybe Kotlin another another uh, thing that is unrelated or something so uh, you look for stack overflow over here I, I almost always do that and here you're gonna get a uh, better understanding of things okay okay so um ah, okay we were talking about uh the parcel level so you just replace the stack view for the parcel level over here and you will get uh, a better understanding of it or you can either uh, uh, get another session with me and I will be happy to help you understand the parcel level so then uh, what we're going to do is get a, this array list or this intent with a service so this is why this class extends from a service right over here so uh, notice that we're going to get the parcel level array list extra over here and we put it into an another array list okay and here uh, we're going to pass it over to the stack widget service all these steps uh, for making a widget you're going to have them over here explained with every method uh, remember that you have to declare the app widget in the manifest you're going to have everything here step by step okay so once you uh, get load of the stack widget service this is going to be the adapter it works as an adapter and differently that you're going to inflate uh, the layout from another uh, class that I'm going to show you but you can see over here that you're going to get the get count over here um, on data set change here you get the array list and uh, you're going to get view at the position all right so this class as, acts as a regular adapter okay um, the other uh, class that you're going to consider over here is going to be this one that it will extend from at widget provider okay you're going to receive the array list over here again from the service and an update is the most important uh, method from the widget it is going to be in charge of updating um, the uh, stack view according to your application if you add another car into your app it will update the widget immediately don't worry hey felipe what is app widget ids okay don't worry about this um app widget ids is if the user creates a lot of uh, widgets so um they are going to be in name like this and the an update is going to know how many widgets are available and it's going to update uh, this um, remote views is another uh, concept of the widget that it's going to be that remember that i told you that the widget uh, wasn't supported didn't support um, most of the things that the xml does support remember yes i remember okay so um you can go here 
and you're going to see that the remote views are first of all in this method that we're going to create uh, we're going to inflate the stack view I will show you in a moment but uh, what remote views do does is that it's going to uh, pass the like the views into the widget okay you're going to find uh, some helpful documentation over here as I instructed to you so in the remote views we're going to inflate the car widget that is a stack view okay remember that we uh, put recycler view into here and in in our previous apps so we're going to inflate that and here we're going to pass another intent into into the stack view and other views that we are going to use how do we do use these uh, views okay so uh, we need to create um, an item for the widget that it's going to provide an image view in this case and a text view okay this is the image that you see in the widget okay in the stack view in in each position and also uh, you're going to use a uh, this card widget uh, xml uh, has the stack view and also uh, you can do a configuration uh, widget uh, that will hold like uh, to put a name into the widget and add the widget this is going to be called uh, for the first time that you're going to add the widget uh, mainly for the first time okay um, then what we have is this is the adapter remember the list service and the car widget provide that is going to be um, you see that the the concept of the widget that you need to understand over here is that you pass the information with a service from the app to the widget and then you're done to do anything you like a uh, pass images pass uh, text views pass everything into a list view into a grid view into all of these uh, elements that are, are listed over here so um, Joanna if you have any question uh, any further questions I'd be happy to help you you can also um, arrange another meeting with me and I will kindly help you Joanna um, have a great day uh, I sure hope there's no more questions no Felipe you were great no more questions okay Joanna uh, so I will be happy to uh, see you again and help you with anything you need help with okay have a great night and and study a lot and happy graduation bye bye